Hello, welcome back to yet another day. It's Thursday, I think. Yes, it's Thursday. Thursday, October 1st, first day of whatever you want to call it, Halloween month, Spooktember, or just, you know, October. That also works. As always, my name is Zara, and I see trees of green, but not for long. Because as soon as I see those trees, I'm going to be installing all kinds of factories and conveyor belts and extractors and just destroying a planet for my own corporation's gain. Which sounds really bad when I put it that way, but, you know, it's... I'm sure we have our reasons. Our reasons is video game. Capital V, capital G, video game. Uh, so yeah, um, Satisfactory is, it's a game I've been seeing floating around a lot lately. Uh, several other streamers have played it. It looks like something that I'd enjoy a lot, so I figured I'd give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, if I do get horribly distracted by it, then I'll probably stream it more often. Uh, if not, then maybe I'll play it in my downtime. Who knows? I've actually, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. There's a lot of games came out recently i've been playing i've still been playing more spelunky 2 um i still have not gotten any further than i did uh, on stream yesterday unfortunately um i've been playing i mean i've been playing minecraft off and on for weeks um satisfactory is kind of getting thrown in here i've been playing as much as i as much as I hate to admit it, I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact the last day and a half or so, which is its own thing. Who knows? Maybe I'll stream that at some point, too. That's another one that's taking the, the world by storm at the moment. Free to play. Gotcha. Breath of Anime, Breath of the Wild. It's a little weird, but it's, I mean, it's fun. I've been enjoying it so far. I'm not that deep into it. And then tomorrow, Star Wars Squadrons comes out. Who knows how much time I'm going to sink into that, too. So it's it's a busy week. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Next week is probably going to be a little less packed, but I still intend to stream more often than usual. So we'll, we'll see what I, I'll be streaming next week. But for today, it's going to be Satisfactory, a game that, for what a, for whatever reason... Um, I've had the, I, I was looking at the steam store page and the, one of the steam reviews, someone posted the line, it's like Minecraft, but for adults. And for some reason that line has just been burned into my mind as a thing. And so I, I feel like there's no better way of celebrating the fact that Minecraft Steve is in Smash Brothers in this the year of our Luigi 2020, then playing adult Minecraft. I don't know what I'm talking about. I am beginning to lose it a little bit. Let's get this game going. Probably change our audio settings. Turn our master volume down. Ambient volume. Factory volume. And music. Sure. Uh, effects and dialogue will be high ish. We'll adjust later if we need to. So here we are in Satisfactory. Um, there's, I, I, I will say I do appreciate the fact that Satisfactory has gone whole hog with making their like quote unquote mascot character this this lovely woman here. Um, I mean, there's not really any reason for it. Like 
I don't know if I, I haven't played the game, so I don't even know if like the character has a name or if it's kind of like a generic model for the player. But I, I appreciate it. I also like the fact that she drinks coffee through her helmet. All right, where are we dropping? Grass fields, rocky desert, northern forest, or the dune desert. Grass fields. Well, I did say that I saw trees of green, so. Uh, let's see, what is our session name going to be? Don't intend on playing this in multiplayer anytime soon, but you know what? Let's just go. Let's try that and see what happens. Like I said, I have not played this game, so I don't know how it works. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Hello. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Okay. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. All right. All procedure initialized. Love Titanfall. I have never played Titanfall. multi-tool well oh. welcome to planet massage 2 a b b your designated sector in the binary star system of akija i am ada also known as artificial directory and assistant tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission you are the third of your sector to survive planetfall congratulations no cool. Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. First objective please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Dismantle drop pod. Note Fix It Incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. All right, done. All important fixit data and communication is recorded Whoa. and stored in the codex, including these steps. Giant long-legged flea. So I can still open the codex. No, 
Okay. So these are my kind of crafting recipes. I play iron rods. Okay. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Aha, uh -huh, inventory. I do have my Xeno Zapper. Zap. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Press B to scan for iron note. So there's iron over there, and the iron over there. Let's head this way. It's a little flatter, probably easier to build over here. Really tempted to... Oh. for, but I'll take it. Minecraft has taught me anything. Oh, goodness. Hey. Quit it. Ow. Okay. Keep pressing F instead of, uh, and instead of E to pick things up. to gather resources. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. No, non-optimal progress. That's a pretty flat area. Let's build something here. Uh, build menu by pressing Q. Let's build the hub. Uh, okay, I can rotate it. Uh, let's put it... here let's put it right here I guess congratulations uh, you have unlocked okay. hub feature manual craft bench hub feature hub terminal fifth objective complete hub upgrade one note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay. Hub upgrades and their cost can be found activated in the hub terminal. So I need 10 iron rods. Okay. Let's. I need iron ingots, so I need to make those first. How many? Uh, four more. Okay. 
Okay. Make those. Dump those into there. Upgrade hub. There's a wire. Congratulations. Frame. You have unlocked building workshop. Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. <laughs> Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Okay. Equipment workshop is used to craft equipment like a portable miner. Okay, so I need the equipment workshop. I need six iron plates and four iron rods. Okay. Let's make a whole bunch of ingots. I don't know if I need iron ore for anything else, so I'm just going to make, like, turn a whole bunch of this into ingots. What do I need for that? Alright, six iron plates, four iron rods. Three, four. Oh, okay, that's six. Sure. I ended up with more than I need, but good enough. Uh, let's go there. Portable miner. Need some more iron rods. Okay. Make us a portable miner. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know where I should put this, but I guess right here. Excellent. Now get to work. Perfect. Uh, complete hub upgrade too. What do I need for that? Bunch of iron rods and a bunch of iron plates. Okay. Make some more ingots. Music is a little bit quiet. I think I will bump it up a tad. Okay, so I have. I don't have any iron plates. I think I need a 10 of each. Oh, I need 20 iron rods. Oof. Okay. Let's go see how our, our portable miner's doing. mining. That's all that matters. The fact that I need to sit here and hold this button down to do this 
is really making me want to. To automate things. Good to go. Just put that. Upgrade. Up. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, Shelter. new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay. Iron plates, iron rods, and wire. I need copper, presumably. Smelter. Okay. Wire, I need copper ingots. For that, I need copper ore. I need to find copper ore. Aha. Uh -huh. That's pretty close. Jim leaves. have to fight for it. Health. Give me that. Okay, so I got that. How much copper ore did I get? Not much. I'll get the gold. Because I'll probably want to set up a smelter around my iron first. Because I imagine that is going to be the... the more necessary production. So let's make some copper ingots. So we can make a bunch of wires. Which we can then use for our smelter. I need five iron rods. Two, three, four, five. Well, whatever. I'll just craft several. Okay. Uh, what other buildings do I have? No, oh, I need power guns too. I'll make sure I can build this smelter first. kind of want to set this up in a way so that it for the future it will have space to take in the ore so I can get like more powerful extractors down so let's let's put it there and then power lines I need cable okay Make some cable. Uh, biomass. 
gas generator located in the hub. I see. Well, let's, uh, get some biomass in. Not connected to anything. Smelter is ready to smelt. Let's go iron. Throw that in there. Get more iron. Cool. Okay. Let's let's build another. I'll go set it up over by the copper. Manually making iron ingots while I have a smelter going. Don't judge me. the setup over by our copper and uh, I can just check in on that every now and then. harvest the planet's resources for our own. Collect leaves. How's it going? Dump the rest of our iron in there. We got lots of iron ingots. Biomass burner still going strong. So I can use flower petals too. Good. I'll use those after. Burn all things. Okay, so I need a whole bunch of plates. What is that? Fire. Well, I can make a bunch more copper ingots at least. could also just make a second smelter if I really wanted to, but alas, I shan't be doing that. Not yet, anyway. Uh, okay, let's get some of these ingots. Make some iron plates. And some iron rods. 20 of each. Let's upgrade the, the grub hub. Done. Congratulations. You yeah, have, I have a toilet now. Scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade for, note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Hey, solid there. Buildings like the constructor. Right, recipe to select and power to function. 
Okay, I can build power poles now. Okay. What do I need for upgrade four? I need 75 iron plates. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm gonna set up a constructor for that. I need eight wire and reinforced iron plate. Ugh, the escalation. I need iron plate and screws. Screws need iron rods. Goodness. Okay, let's go collect our copper first, because we need more. Terrifying flying creature. Like something out of Monster Hunter. smelter and I need them to make screws I'm going to put this here for now and this is gonna be my copper smelter so I might as well get them going. No, oh, no, I need concrete. All right, let's scan for limestone. Okay, so there's one fairly close by. I can go and grab that. I need another portable miner. plates. Just, just going to stand on top of the workbench, if you don't mind. Uh, do I want any more portable miners? I think so. I think I need them. Take that. Give me your carapace. hang out here for a bit, collect some limestone, limestone before I head back. Getting like a, I don't know why, this is reminding me a lot of like Horizon Zero Dawn. This weird alien landscape for, for whatever reason. Even though Horizon explicitly takes place on Earth. 
level 69 iron ore in that thing. So now I can build concrete, which means I can finally build a power pole. Which I can then use to power both of these wonderful machines. I'll put it right between. Do I... Okay, I want to dismantle that power line. And I will attach it there. Then I want to take... Power line. Attach it to that. And a power line. Attach it to that factory. Or smelter. Whatever. All right. Throw some of these in there. We are burning through them fast now. Thankfully, plants seem to regrow at an exponential rate on this planet. For the constructor, I need reinforced iron plates. Let's get this iron ore. Might as well get this copper ore that's made already. Uh, is that all I need? Do I only need two? Yes. Okay. Constructor. Oh, I need more wires now. Cables. Distinctly different than wires. Now I need cables. I'm just going to make a bunch of cables because I'm probably going to need them. So this constructor, constructor, constructor. stuff out of my way. Gonna put it let's put it down there. And then I'll potentially have a conveyor belt that goes in there once I can actually build them. Okay, so I want you to make iron plates. So I'm going to put in iron ingots. I need to power you, and away you go. Hello, Fiona. I am making iron plates. Make some more screws while I'm here, too, because I'm going to need a bunch. Okay, so I need 75 iron plates, 20 cable, and 10 concrete. It's pretty simple. I can easily get the cable. Uh, the concrete, I'll have to go and snag my limestone. I should probably go check up on my copper extractor, too. Right, iron's going good. Iron plate production. Gotta go grab my copper. Really should have built my base, like, in between all of this stuff. I have a feeling... I might be, might be restarting this after the tutorial.
Because I am 100% the kind of person who plans all of this stuff ahead of time to be as efficient as possible. Possibly to my own detriment. Give me the leaves. Excuse me. Oh. Hello. I do kind of love how the animals like ragdoll out of control when you, you kill them. Oh. I forgot how close my limestone actually was. Oh, what is this? Rock quartz. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of that while I see it. I don't know what it's for, but... Someone crossed a head crab with an elephant. Yeah. I said that they kind of remind me of fleas with really long legs. That's a little terrifying. No power. Oh no. Biofuel generator is just tearing through this stuff. Um, okay, what, what was I doing now? I need concrete. That's what I needed. Yeah, probably silicon or something like that. I'm betting I'm going to need it for the next tier. Uh, put some more iron ingots in there. Ore for you. Do I have ore for you? No, I don't. Or for you, ingots. Nice. There. That one. That one wasn't stacking. That bugged me. Okay, so I've got enough iron plates now. They're just gonna turn this off for the time being. They don't. I don't know if I'm gonna need a whole bunch more iron plates after this. So, Up upgrade four. I have more screens now. Congratulations. You have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory additional slots. Ninth objective. Complete hub upgrade five. Note. Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay. Not gonna comment on that poster. Goodness, I'm just. What's the fiction of this game? Um, I, I mean, I haven't gotten that deep into it so far. It's basically we work for the Fix It company, and we are here to build things. I don't really know what the grand scheme is. The game is still in early access, so they might be working on like an overarching plot. I don't think it's quite as compelling or deep, deeply involved as, like, Subnautica or something like that. Okay, so I can build conveyor belts. I need iron plates for that. Well, you know what? Just go ahead and switch you back on. Uh, we have, we definitely have not crashed here. We were sent here to do this. We landed in a, a fix-it pod and are, have been tasked with this. Boy, this is satisfying. We 
you have our little office here. This is clearly a sink, but it doesn't have any, like, taps on it, so, uh, okay. That is a lot of iron. It sprays upward. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Alright, what's next on the agenda? Hub upgrade 5. Ooh, that'll get us miners. We need a bunch of concrete, a whole bunch of iron rods, and a cable. Uh, okay, so I think what I'm going to do... I've got a whole... i got lots of copper. I'll let that one finish up with its copper. I'm going to build another... Oh, wait, I still only have... Uh, This biomass generator is still the only thing that I actually have that produces power right now, which is lame. Oops. Eat these flowers. Um. Because I was going to build another smelter over by my copper node. Um. But I can't build anything, any other generators yet. Uh, when do I get them? So I won't get them for a little while, so I've still gotta. But I can build. I am gonna build another smelter anyway. I need iron rods and copper wire. Of that and a whole bunch of iron rods because those don't take very long. Then a third smelter here. So I'll take the copper out of this. I will change change you to iron. You're going to be copper. Oh, I didn't... Sp I don't think I spaced these out very well. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I need more reinforced iron plates for another constructor. Give me all those iron plates. more portable miners and stick them on here. I always need more iron. Okay. So that's that. I do appreciate the fact that the conveyor belts actually move you as well. Um, I do believe you can use up deposits, yes. I don't know how deep they go, but presumably it is, you know, a while after you've made actual extractors and stuff that go underground. Uh, so let's build a couple of reinforced iron plates. Build us another... Oh, I need more wire cable, excuse me. Keep getting those confused. Okay. Okay, they can be pretty close together. It's fine. This one might be a bit of a problem, but oh well. 
Okay, you are going to make iron rods. Uh, but you don't have any power. Quite yet. But I can give you power. No, no, I can't. I need to build another power pool. to dismantle uh, let's go that power line then we'll go from there to there wait no power line from that one to that one that one to that one done doesn't have any iron ore in it yet. I can fix that. Throw that in there, throw that in there. I need cable too. Should, uh, you know what? Let's I'm going to move this smelter over a little bit. Differentiate it a little bit from the others to be my copper smelter. build another constructor, which I need reinforced plates for. Cable is just a coward's wire, it's true. Uh, screws. I do like the fact that the screws come in like the little blue bins. Zero cable. Okay. Good enough. Produce the iron rods fast enough. Ah. Flower petals seem to be a lot more uh, efficient, missing wire. I don't have any wire. This is what I am. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to set up a wire production. to make more wire. It's true. Okay, power line. Which will lead to another power pole right there. Which will lead to this and to this. Wait, no, that's not right.
That goes there. That goes there. I did hook the two machines together. I didn't know I could do that. You don't have any copper, but I know where to get some. Well, I can just dump these in here for now. Yoink. Boy, I can't wait until I can make portable generators. Get me multiple mining locations set up. Multiple factories, factories on factories, flower petals. I, I suppose I could just make a ton of power poles going over there. I don't know how long they reach. That is very true. Okay. You make ore into ingots, ingots get made into wires. I suppose I could set it up so that the wires then get turned into cables as well. Dump some more flower petals in there. You guys are out of iron ore. Okay, I really don't think I need three of these on the iron ore. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to pick it up. Fuse has been triggered. Be sure to check your power circuits from time to time. If there's not enough power to satisfy the demand, the grid will short circuit. All the buildings connected to that grid will shut down until you reset the fuse and meet the desired demand for power. Oh no. Okay. I've got too many machines running on the same power grid. That is unfortunate. Well. I'm going to take all these iron plates, I'm going to shut you off. I'll shut you guys off, because I don't really need iron plates right now. Fuse on. So, yeah, I guess even if I wanted to set up a mining operation over there, I wouldn't be able to power it. Not right now, anyway. this quartz into storage. I don't need it. I wonder if the wood burns any... like if it gives any more power. I guess I could find out. No, I don't think so. This generator only provides so much power, regardless of the biofuel that's in it, so... this stuff in here, because I don't know what it's for. Speaking of, I should go and check in my limestone. It does last a bit longer, but it's... I don't know where I get it from. I get it from these, these bushes. Presumably I will get something that will let me cut down trees. I'll be able to get something even better. The leaves burn really quickly, so I'm trying trying not to use those so much. But that's fine. I've got a whole garden of flowers out in my backyard that I can use for fuel, so. trees later. 50 cables and 20 concrete. Well, concrete's easy. I just load it up on limestone. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's see how the wire production's going. Excellent. I also appreciate the fact that you could just grab stuff off the conveyor belt. I could just yoink. That is very handy. Cables. Need a whole bunch of these. Okay, I think that should be enough. I'm just going to make a surplus of cables. So I've got lots. Let's upgrade the hub. Fix a tub. Congratulations. Else? New. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub feature additional biomass burner. Oh. Tenth objective. Complete hub upgrade six. Note there are no notes. There's all that wood. I put copper ingots in my storage. Uh, I'm going to put these in here, but I'm going to turn it off. For now. Ensure a resource node is clear of clutter before placing a miner mark one. Multiple biomass burners can be connected to the same power grid for increased capacity. Some buildings, like the storage container, don't need power to function. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Storage container. 24 slots for storing large amounts of items. Has an input and output for conveyor belts. Okay. Um, I think... I want to delete that power line because I want to connect it there first. Oh, I can't put any more there. Shoot. Reconfigure this. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna turn on. And then I'll connect you there. There. The aesthetics. I could hook them to the same power pole. I'm gonna have this one powering these machines, and then I'll have this one go off in this direction and power something else. Let me over. Okay. Or yeah, I suppose I could just put them on the same power pole. That might be easier. I don't have enough wire. Whew. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, what do we need to upgrade? Upgrade six. Iron rods, wire, and concrete. Biomass burner. Excellent. Space elevator. Huh. Fascinating. Okay. That is all stuff we're already producing, so that's fine. Although I don't have a constructor for concrete yet. Put a power line there. Connect it to that one. There we go. Now I can turn everything back on. Where are we at for power production? <laughs> yeah. Pretty close. I think we've got enough on there for like one more thing, which is perfect because I can just 
make a concrete product constructor somewhere. Oh, I need iron plates. Or reinforced iron plates, I should say. Oh, there we go. This one just wasn't burning fuel. That's what it was. Oh, yeah. We got lots of power. We got lots of power. More screws. Definitely feeling like I'm going to need some sort of screw production sometime soon. Why am I making iron plates? I don't know. I'll turn that off for now. You know what I could do? No, I need... Getting ahead of myself. I think we do need iron plates. I might as well turn it on for now. Let it run through what it's got anyway. Um, okay, so I want a concrete production. I don't know. I'll just put it here. I can always move it if I need to. Uh, you're going to make concrete. Dump a bunch of limestone into you. So where are we at? Fire. Okay, so this is literally all stuff that we have constructors for already. Um, I can dump the plates in there. Do, 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 do. You look like you're out of ore. So I'll get you filled back up. Or two, you are. I'll grab that wire while I'm there. Grab the copper. So I guess potentially what the solution would be is keep pressing the wrong button to pick things up. Give me, give me, give me. Potentially what the solution for this would be would be like an extractor, constructor and everything. Have like a copper production mill over there and then have everything go to like a storage unit that I can just go and grab everything from. Or just have it all you know, transport its way back here. No power. What happened? Oh, I see. It ran out of fuel. There we go. Uh, Okay, okay. You are out of limestone. Not for long. I can refill 
you with copper. You're making plates, you're making iron rods. That, that, and a little bit more concrete. Now we're good. Iron, yeah, we probably don't need a whole lot of iron production. It's just, we do need a lot of it, though. Like, we go through iron plates and iron rods quite a bit. So I figured I would just leave them, leave them going. Oh, hey. I have, like, a roof on this place now. There we go. Yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Concrete upgrade. Congratulations, you have unlocked Building Space Elevator, Building Biomass Burner, Heart Biomass. Motivational message, congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge, the hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. Space elevator. Base building. Lookout tower, foundations, and walls. Logistics. Okay, here we go. So, we can split conveyors, we can merge them. We can elevate them. Productivity display. Oh yeah, this is where it ramps up. 150 iron plates, 150 iron rods, 300 wire. Research. Used to mark areas of interest. Personal storage box. More inventory slots. More hand slots. That's cool. Molecular anal analysis machine. Object scanner. Boy. Crafts two parts into another part. Upper sheet rotor, modular frame, spark plating. Wow, there's a lot to this game. Jump pads, jelly landing pads, the awesome shop. I guess awesome sink. Um. Well. Okay. guess probably the conveyor splitters and stuff would be the most pressing matter. And we're, we're already producing all that stuff, so it's really just a matter of time. Concrete is slow going. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a concrete um, node that is self self-powered. So I'm going to need to put a biomass burner, a miner, and a smelter. 
How much power is that? That's 30 megawatts. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. Okay, so I can build that. I need... Constructor. I've got everything for that. I've got everything for the miner. The smelter. I've got everything there. Okay, I think I've actually got everything that I need. I'm going to... Eliminate you. And set everything up down here. Oh, I forgot everything. Pick up miner. Okay, first things first. We need a power. I'm gonna put our biomass burner. I'm gonna put it right. There. Um, I'm go pick some flowers to stuff in there. Uh, I keep pressing F to grab things because I've been playing too much Genshin Impact. That game's got weird controls, but you know it's free to play. Gacha, waifu, Breath of the Wild simulator. So that's. You know, to be expected. Okay, I don't need you on yet. So the miner is going to go here. We'll go out that direction. I'm wondering how I heal myself. So I've, I've taken a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy, but it's enough that's kind of got me thinking, huh, maybe I should heal. But I don't know how. Okay, let's put the smelter. I'll put it fairly close. There. Oh, I don't need a smelter for concrete, you're right. What am I thinking? I need a constructor. That's what I need. Okay, I'm gonna get a little wild here. Put the constructor here. Uh, conveyor belt and straight into there. Then, put me a storage container out here, too. There. That way, this thing won't just stop production when it gets full. It'll just keep dumping stuff into the storage container. Uh, so now I just need to hook everything up to a power pole. Stick it right there. Turn on. Yeah, I do love the amount of like customization that you can really do with setting up your like factory systems. Here we go. There it is. Uh, so that's going to make concrete. So that'll dump limestone into there. That'll make concrete. And then the concrete should get dumped into the storage container. Yeah. Sacks of concrete. Sure. Alright. I could pretty much just leave this thing to do its job. 
Um, I'm going to need a lot of concrete, so that's going to have to just kind of run for a while. I'll go check up on everything else. some more flower petals while I'm out. Kind of running low on fuel over here. Grab a whole bunch more. Oh no, I built it on top of some flowers. Inefficiency. Put that, put some in there, put some in there. That should last a while. Uh, let's build another storage container over here. Think about this now. Yeah, I'm. I definitely want to do that, but I also need to think about because eventually I'm gonna have to start setting up production of like iron ingots into screws and or like iron rods into screws and all that other kind of fancy stuff. So I'm probably gonna have to rearrange everything. But for now. Let's just kind of set it up there. Oh, wait, I can't actually build the mergers yet. That's what the, the milestone gets me. Storage containers do have an output, that's true. Yeah, this is what I get for completing this milestone is the, the conveyor merger, which I might actually be able to do now, actually. Let me go into these machines. Uh, not quite. Okay. Yeah, not quite. Alas. Well, I'll leave that there for now. going again. Take your iron. Suppose I could also set up a, a copper mining location over here. Might be worthwhile. How close is it? Yeah, it's pretty far away from everything. If it was close enough, I guess I could have made my limestone warehouse on the other side here and then had both of them go into the same warehouse, but then that's kind of further out of the way. It is what it is. I'll live with it. Uh, copper, copper, copper goes in here. I don't know why I built that one further away from the copper. Should have built it on the other side. Okay, I've got all of that. So just a few more plates, and then I'll be able to get the conveyors set up. Goodness, that is large. It's also extremely expensive. Dang. 1500 wire? Work 
Requires deliveries of special project parts to complete phases of project assembly. Okay, so that definitely seems like the kind of end goal. I can't tell if these flowers are regrowing or not. I think they are. I would assume they are. That's the price for phase one. Yeah, space elevator is expensive, which makes sense. I would expect it to be. Oh, seven more. Seven more plates. Thank you. All right. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display Goodbye. will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Well, now hold up. Sample building? I don't know what that means. Yeah, apparently we're not upgrading our hub anymore. We're just sending stuff off to our our overlords. Uh, okay, so now we can build move resources between floors. So. She said to consider more verticality, which implies to me that I can build stuff higher. Like, can I build... Can I build things on top of each other? I wonder, do I need... I might need a milestone for that. building. Ah, uh, here we go. They do have flat tops. I don't know how to actually get up there to, like, build on top of them. Anyway. Whatever. We have stuff to do. Let me go up here and see if I can build up here. Oh, I see. When you sample buildings, you snap to the, the building that you are looking at. That makes sense. No. Very curious. Anyway. Uh, conveyor merger. Let's build one. Oh, goodness. This is very close. Let's put it there. And hope that I have enough conveyor belt space to make this work. Nope.
Yeah, the conveyor murders only have three inputs, which makes me a little nervous. Try that. Nope. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it crater reentry complete. I think I need to move this. Okay, the merger, I'm going to put over here. And then the storage container will turn this way. Right there. So I do I actually need to... I thought that if I put them close enough, I wouldn't need a conveyor belt, but I do. Okay, conveyor belt there. Conveyor belt there. There. I need one more plate for that. I don't have any iron. Uh. whole factory grinds to a halt. Oh wait, I have an iron ingot in my inventory. Get in there. You're out of copper. More miners. I might have to set up like a, an automated mining production here, just because we are we are going to be using an awful lot of iron. Give me the plates. I need one more. There. Wow, the copper wire is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. just kind of get merged in this thing and it'll randomly choose items to get sent through. Cool. That's working. That is a lot of wire. Definitely think. Hold up. I want to see something. Can I climb these roots? I can. Uh, secrets. What secrets do you hold, Mountain? Mercer Sphere, work in progress. A weird alien thing with an impossibly smooth surface. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. Welp. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Ow. I heal. Well, at least I found out where I can get wood from. Give me that wood. For now, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go take a look at what uh, recipes I have available. See if there's any kind of like food or something. Um, I don't pass. 
Ooh. Let's make some biomass. I would assume that biomass burns very well. I'll make a whole bunch of it and then I'll dump it into my generators when I can. Um, one more care pace. I haven't picked up any kind of like food or something. Hand slots, inventory slots, object scanners. Yeah, this is like my shack here. I don't know if there's... There's nothing I can interact with here. Well, I can dump that Mercer Sphere in here. I'll check on my concrete. Going strong. 169 concrete. Nice. Uh, what am I on the side of my base? Uh, oh, no, that is the. Or yeah, that's the equipment shack. Um, yeah, I haven't checked there recently. That's where I build my... Yeah, all I can build is the Xeno Zapper and the Portable Miner. And I don't really need either right now. There's gotta be like food or something that I can pick up and eat. What's this? Aha. Can be eaten to restore one health segment. Oh. I don't know if there's any like gardening or anything in the game. Seems to be the extent of uh, the healing <laughs> items around my base. That'll do. Oh, what's this? No, that's just leaves and wood. Okay. I could probably set up a a mining node around my copper too. For wire. Rather than running back and forth all the time. It is filling up nicely, though. We should probably pick what our next milestone is. Thinking. Valuable data into research options and new technologies. 
Because, I mean, the base building is definitely tempting. Because I like the idea of, you know, building things. But, for the most part, I don't think I really... I don't know. I don't see myself using this stuff that much. Not yet, anyway. I think, yeah, I'm going to go with the field research one for now. So I need 300 wire, 300 screws, and iron plates. 100 iron plates. I still don't have any screw production going. Which I might be able to solve. Like what I might end up doing is turn this third branch from copper into screw production. Maybe have it branch off like this way first, and then the screw production will then go into the splitter, into the warehouse. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a lot of screws. Hey, that's enough wire. Perfect. Okay, so we can put the iron plates and the wire in. So I still need 300 screws, which I can make 80 with what I've got on me right now. I might as well kind of clear out my inventory a little bit. We've got lots of rods in storage. I just sit here and craft screws forever. Oh, you are out of iron already. Goodness, that was fast. I'm just kind of cleaning up my inventory right now. Uh, why do I have all this limestone in my inventory? Get in there. Actually, I do need it for building power poles and stuff, so it's probably worth having on my person. Okay, these flowers are definitely regrowing, which is good. Because I'm going to send them all to the incinerator. Um, well, let's see here. Miner, smelter, constructor. Okay, so I think I can basically get everything that I need. I'll set these running again get my copper production set up. Copper production. My remote copper production, I should say. jumping around all of these little cliffs and stuff, I can see why you might want to build, like, 
actual base platforms and whatnot. Flowers. Sixty nine flower pumps. Okay, take that, pick you up. Alternatively, jump pads. That is very true. Okay, bio last burner. I'm going to set it up on this side so it's closer to my base. Kind of set it up like so it's over here, so I don't have to run as far. Put my warehouse over there too. Okay, production miner. So the miner is gonna go there. Smelter. Melter. Weird location, I guess. It's going to have to probably be a ways away. Okay, that'll work. I just don't have enough plates for it. Constructor. Constructor will go there. And storage container. I don't have enough plates. Ugh. No, I think I. I think we just ran out of power. Yeah, they're out of power completely. Well, I'm going to stick some biofuel into each of these. Yeah, that lasts for a while. have to end up actually increasing the iron plate production as well because it seems to be lagging behind a little bit okay storage container I'll put it over here connect everything it's a wacky conveyor belts goes right through a tree I'm sure it's fine Built out there. Fine. Okay, constructor has to be over here then. Why is this? Why am I being forced to put one of these posts down? I don't understand. Curious. I 
I don't understand what is happening here. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the constructor right in front. Again, why is this happening? Oh, the inputs are looking at each other. Is that what it is? That is an input, isn't it? Delete you. And start all over again. I put my smelter down here. I'll make sure the conveyor belt reaches. Constructor. I'll put there. I guess it must have been that. This I will put right there. Okay. And power lines. So from you to you. Oh wait, that's right. Oh, right, that post is still here. I forget that those are separate constructions. So I'm going to go ahead with the power line right there. Connect you to the miner, smelter, and to the constructor. Power on. Extracting copper, which will go down here, which will turn into ingots, which will go in here, turn into wire, which will go in here and will be in there. I'm sure it'll be fine. production. Okay, so this smelter. I believe I'm going to set up this smelter to produce. Well, you know what? Let's just eliminate it first. Because I'm probably going to need more room. build a miner on this node. Actually, what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll 
pick you up. I'll move you over here. Uh, minor. Down. Pick you up. Move you over here, too. Back to work. I think I'm going to make a minor here. This node. Okay, so I can only have one miner on each node, basically. So then I would have to split the conveyor into two. Conveyor splitter. have to oh. oh that's weird I really wish there was a better way to get a look at things I guess I can go up on platforms I'm like a proper surveyor So, let's see here. So I think I'm going to set this up right about there. So, conveyor belt, I'm stuck. We'll go in there, it will be split. Those two. Now I just need power, which I can do from here. Can I reach that far? I can. Wow. Okay, okay iron production up and running. How's this stuff going? It looks like this is turned off. Probably ran out of fuel. Yes. Have some biomass. So there is a chainsaw item that I'll be able to craft later. And when I do, boy, this tree, you're going to get it. All right, so there's that iron ore going off to production. I don't know if... If it's any faster or not, probably not. Just trying to think of how I can set this up for screw production. Because I think what I want is I'm going to set up my iron plate production on its own node over there because it takes more iron than the, the rods do and then these two will both be producing iron rods but one of them will also be then producing screws after that I'm just trying to think of how I can set all this up I'll have to move my storage yeah, it's it's doable. But for now, I guess I don't really need these miners anymore. 
Excellent work, gentlemen. Uh, but what I actually need is another miner. times faster than portable miners. Okay, so... Yeah, production might be a little bit slower than usual. iron plates set up on their own thing, I do believe. Constructor. Oh, the, the snap two functions are getting a little weird on me. So that constructor can go there. I'm probably going to have to move my storage over a bit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I need to make sure I can actually build stuff first. Okay, I need two more reinforced iron plates. screws first. Wait, no I don't. I need more iron plates first. Dang it. Iron plates, please. Constructor. Honestly, I need some cable too, so. For them power lines. So I've got storage. So all I really need is a constructor and just conveyors, because I have everything else. So much ore just sitting in my inventory. I'm just gonna put it all away for now. Because I'm going to have to empty this out. But before I do that, I'm just gonna shut everything down. Take everything. Okay, so that's going to be iron plates. So I need another constructor beyond this one.
logistics hurting brain. Okay, let's let's build another constructor. So that constructor. Wait, I need to eat these plants first. So you will be making screws out of iron rods. So you will be making iron rods. So the iron rods will get made there. They will get shoved into this thing. And then conveyor belt will come out that way. Merger. I hate having long conveyor belts. I might need to in this case. Can I? Okay. I don't like it, but it'll work. Then I'll have to make another merger for these two. Or I could just make separate warehouses. How expensive are those? Not that bad. I think I'll do that. Oh, that's not straight. I hate it. Get out of here. Okay, that'll go there. And this other storage container will line up with that thing. work? Or is that the wrong? Now there's clearance. I may have turned this around the wrong way. Hold up. I did with this one too. Keep mixing these. Oh, God. There we go. There. Storage zone. I just need to hook these up to power. Hooked up. Okay, so miner into iron, iron ingots into iron plates. There's no splitting, no merging going on, so that is a straight iron plate production. And then these ones are getting split. They're both producing iron rods. This one will just go straight into storage. This one will be manufactured then into screws and placed into storage. And we should be good. Just switch the power on. Off we go. Set up right, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I don't actually have any power on this thing. <laughs> well, that's a problem. Let's dismantle... dismantle that one and then put a power line down here. And then connect these two poles. And then reboot the fuse. <laughs> Ooh. Sure are using that power. But we're good. With everything running all at once, we're almost maxed out on power, which is fine. But we have screw production in their fancy little blue bins. Okay, so I'm going to put. Iron bars, rods in there. Grab all my iron plates. Well, I'll take those and then I'll put the hundred in there. It's beautiful. now to go check on my other productions. I kind of wonder what's over there. This is all good. Making lots of concrete. This one. Well, this is more iron. Perfect. I'm right next to like three more iron nodes. The first one of these that I killed, I'm pretty sure it ragdolled like straight into orbit because I never saw it again. You know, in retrospect, this was probably a much better place to set up shop because there's three iron nodes and a limestone node just right next to each other. It is worth pointing out, I don't believe the game is randomly generated. I am pretty certain that the maps are set. They are what they are. It would be cool if it was all randomly generated, but I think it's it's kind of like Subnautica in that way, where it's it is what it is. Exploration is kind of part of the, the game. Give me them leaves. Shove them directly into my mouth. What is that? Oh! Whatever it is, it's mad at me. Come here. Ow. Stop it. Stop. Whoa. 
Alien organs. Sure. I need food. Oh, that looks like food. This looks like a bunch of food. Barrel nuts. Half a health segment. I'll take it. Eat them nuts. Getting like No Man's Sky vibes off of this guy. What's this? Sulfur. Don't mind if I do. Nuts. Keep the nuts. Foil. It's probably bad for me to go in there, I'm going to assume. I also do greatly appreciate that all of your structures have like power indicators on them so that from a glance you can quickly see whether or not something is wrong from a, even from a distance. That is quite nice. Just gonna load up on nuts. Nuts and leaves, so I can make more biofuel. And wood. Still working up there. And yeah, miner is still on. Uh, those guys look bigger and meaner. I'm not gonna go over there. I'll leave them to their devices. Got all my factories to worry about for now. Okay, so I just need 300 screws. Let's see how we're looking for screw production. Perfect. I'll take them. Screws. Launch that pod. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note. The object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Uh, okay, let's craft some more biofuel. Just because I have a feeling I'm going to need it relatively soon. Oh, 
I can actually make more with all these leaves. So let's do that. Not using leaves for anything else right now, so. Biomass it is. Sulfur, I've potentially used for gunpowder. Terrifying. Uh, okay, let's, let's let's see what we can make at the equipment workshop. Object scanner, beacons. Is that? Oh, we need a beacon for it. Reinforced iron plates. Okay. Uh, what else can we build here? Ah, we can build the MAM. Five reinforced iron plates. I need more iron plates for that. You know what I should do? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab these iron rods. I'm going to build a craft bench right over here. right next to my storage, because then I don't have to run back and forth quite so much. So I'm gonna make all this, these reinforced iron plates. Then I can build, I can build, oh, I don't have enough cable. stuff we're researching. Flower petals, nutrients. Bacon agaric? Apparently there are bacon mushrooms on this planet. Quartz, sulfur. Hmm. Well, let's research this alien carapace first. Recipe unlocked. Okay, we can use it to new research available in the map. Turn into biomass, apparently. Wait, I already know that recipe. That's not that's no good. Uh well let's research alien organs then. Okay, same thing. So I can turn all that stuff into biomass, which is good. Let's do flower petals too. Color gun. Ooh. Color gun, color cartridges. Interesting. Nutrients. Um, can't do that one just yet. I can do the quartz and the sulfur now. Quartz, sulfur. How much do I need? Ten. Perfect. Let's go. New resource added to the resource scanner. Okay, so quartz can be refined into quartz crystals and into silica. Q 
Okay, what about sulfur? Sulfur can be refined into black powder. Which also needs coal. Hmm. How do I make coal? That's a good question. That one's entirely beyond me at this point. I can put the wood away too. I'll, I'll actually hold on to those because I craft biomass out of them fairly regularly. Uh, okay, let's see what else here. So I need more reinforced iron plates. Okay, well, let's make a beacon first, because I need one. Well, I need three of them. Which means I need more wires. Which means I need to take a walk. Oh, this thing is powered down too. Probably ran out of ran out of juice. Yep, it did. Okay. Go and grab some some biomass. Did they all run out? Everything is shut down. Those guys burn a lot of fuel because there's a lot of things running on them all at once. I'm going to shove the biomass into here. Off you go. Back to work. And sandstone, still good. scan for quartz and sulfur now, too. Interesting. None. There's absolutely no more quartz anywhere near me, which is fair. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh. There is a node incredibly far from here. Wow. That's so far. guys all shut down. Oh, right. I forgot to reset the fuse. There we go. Oh my god, that's so far. Four kilometers from here. Good lord. Um, okay, so I need... I need more steel plates. Because I need to make, well, I need to make more screws. Let's, I guess let's just make a bunch of screws while we're, we've still got a bunch of rods in our inventory. Because I think they only need two more plates. Yeah, I should. Okay, so we're going to make two more beacons, because we need three. And the object scanner, I need a lot more screws. Okay. Whew. Uh, give me half of those screws. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'm winning, but I'm, I'm making stuff. I'm about to make an object scanner.
I don't know what it's for, but I have one now. Oh, I have two hand slots now. How do I switch? Ah. Uh -huh. Zap, zap. Alright, so I need to find some objects to scan. I think I actually need to research those objects first before I can actually scan them. Which I have done. Okay, I guess I can't scan flower petals anyway. But Well, let's let's see what we need. I could probably just get this one right now. I might as well. Might as well wrap up with wrap up that last tier of uh, Okay, I've got a lot of iron rods. I'm actually going to shut down that production. For the time being, because I don't need any more right now. I'll let the screws kind of do their thing. Um, oh, I need concrete too. Whew. Was it 100 or 200 concrete that I needed? I think it might have been 200. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have a flashlight too. I've never needed it. Even the nighttime in this game is not very dark. Concrete, good, good. Launch pod. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Goodbye. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. So we're into tier two now. Modular frame. Smart plating. Similar obstacle clearing. I think that's probably going to be the next one. Cut down trees. Jump pads. Jump pads would be cool, but though they require rotors, so we'd have to research part assembly first. Or sink. Oh, huh. Okay. So this apparently will take excess resources and turn it into research data. And then you get coupons, which you can use at the awesome shop. Okay. And then further logistics. Stackable conveyor pool. Build Mark II. Okay, so this is all fairly useful stuff. This is getting. Oh, hello. This is all getting much more complicated. The logistics of it all is starting to hurt my brain a little bit. It's all working. Um, so now we've got all of our foundations, ramps, and walls, and whatnot. As well as... What else did we get? 
a lookout tower. How big is this thing? That's pretty big. I'm going to build a lookout tower right behind my base. Right over here. Right next to my, my little research zone. I don't really have much to look out for, but hopefully if this is placed right, I'll be able to go up here. Yeah, so I can see from up here, make sure everything is powered on and working appropriately. Uh oh. So copper production is good. It looks like concrete is shut down. Plus it just looks kind of cool. So let's go. This is probably out of fuel. Yes. Um, I don't have any biomass on me right now, so I'm just going to go pick a bunch of flowers. I'll just use flowers for now. They burn through. The concrete production burns pretty slowly, so I'm not too worried about having a, you know, super efficient fuel. Donuts. Okay. Let's see if we can find something that we can scan. That looks scannable, whatever that thing is. Let's go check it out. Whoa. Green power slug. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research ah. tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Oh, hold up. What's that? I think that's sulfur. Give me... Give me the sulfur. I like the steel drums in the soundtrack, I have to admit. I like, I, I mean, I just like steel drums in general. They're an excellent instrument. Meters by four meters. Okay. I was about to say <laughs> that is not four meters tall. I can confirm that, but that looks a bit, yeah, that looks about right when it comes up out of the ground. So, potentially, something for the future is building easier access to my concrete zone. Four meters is like 12 feet. I think so. Don't hold me to that. I can't remember what the conversion is off the top of my head. Yeah, it's two, two meters is like 
around six feet tall. I know that much. <laughs> the reason I know that off the top of my head is because Chewbacca is like 2.2 .2 meters tall or something like that. So it's around there. Don't judge me. <laughs> it was on the Star Wars database. I guess that random Star Wars fact. Uh, oh, I was just thinking of one the other day. Oh, um, random Star Wars fact. While we're talking about lengths, the original Death Star was... Oh, I hope I don't screw this up. The original Death Star was 120 kilometers wide. The second Death Star was 160 kilometers wide. It was considerably bigger, though unfinished. Had it been finished, it would have been considerably larger than the first one. Although when you're dealing with scales of that size, probably hard to tell. Alright, what am I doing here? Oh, I had something to research. I gotta research this slug. That's what it was. Insert slug into research machine. Power shards. Overclock production? Ooh, that sounds dangerous. I could research that. Oh, 301 bits from Jason. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. Uh, what am I doing here? These. I need these. I think I have enough wire. Power slugs. Yeah, let's research. Five minutes, okay. But yeah, the, the thing with the second Death Star is that, yes, it looked unfinished. Um, but I, I think most people just assumed, oh, you know, it's the same thing, so it's the same size. But no, it actually wasn't. It was bigger. Because of course it was. Palpatine is nothing if not um, in love with his giant war machines. They're useless. Useless war machines to flex on all the the rebels. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, that forest. If I can get that chainsaw, that forest is calling my name. Uh, I don't want to build power lines. Wires. Cables. I might have to set up some sort of cable production at some point. Screws, cables, concrete. Well, that's probably doable. Get me that chainsaw. I can cut down some trees. Alright. Uh, concrete and 500 screws. How's my screw production going? Nice. Chainsaw. Launch pod. I keep forgetting. 
biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing Whoa. foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. He's, he's all right. He's just passing through. He doesn't mind. I keep forgetting that you can actually select milestones and like put stuff into it without actually having to finish it. So I think part assembly is probably going to be the next one that I do. Oh, I, I do also like the fact that you actually need to wait until the pod returns physically. I appreciate that. How do we make a chainsaw? Oh yeah, we got everything we need. R and D did what now? And I'm sure it's fine. Wait, how many reinforced iron plates? Five. Okay. Screws. I need a bunch of screws. Okay. Screw production is still very much in in swing. I might need even more screws. You know what? You know what I could do? Feeling a little bit... A little bit cheeky. Let's take this. Change you to screws. And I'll just dump those in there. Star Wars Rebellion stream when? Oh, I streamed Star Wars Rebellion a couple years ago. I did a thing where I was doing the 12 days of Star Wars up to the release of, I think it was The Last Jedi at the time. Or no, maybe it was Rogue One. Was it that long ago? Jeez. Um, where every day for 12 days I streamed a different Star Wars game, and Rebellion was in there. I mean, I wouldn't mind coming back to it at some point. It is... it doesn't run well <laughs> on modern computers. It's, uh, it's a bit of a trip to even get that thing running. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. It runs. But it's... it's a bit of a pain to, uh to get it running and looking good and smooth. But I would love to. I would play that game a million times. Uh, okay. Chainsaw. Oh, do I actually... Oh, I probably need biofuel to run the chainsaw, don't I? That is true. I do plan on streaming uh, Star Wars Squadrons tomorrow when it comes out. So that'll be that'll be a big deal. Power shards. What do power shards do? Are they just fuel? Research probably done. Overclock. Buildings can now be overclocked with the use of power shards. Oh, okay, makes sense. Uh, okay, so I need biomass. So let's get some biomass. Let's make some solid biofuel. Oh, there we go. That sounds better. us ever since we set up shop here. Come here.
excellent. What all have we got from this? Okay, well, I'm already at like 600 some leaves. 92 wood. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a nut tree. I don't want to cut that down. Hopefully those regrow. Oh, I guess we could use some constructors to turn them into biofuel. That's a good idea. Alright, tree. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I have upset the wildlife. Time to go. Wait, bauxite. Give me. Uh. Where can I hit? Can I hit you with it? No. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Fine. Fire-breathing wildlife. Actually turned on. That's what the problem is. I'm dumb. Uh, okay, so let's. We could probably research this box site now. Hopefully. Where is it? No, it is not here. Okay. I don't know what box site is for. So that's going in storage. Uh, what else do we got here? I think. What else can we make? Nothing. So we need cable, iron rods, screws, and iron plates. A lot of iron plates. Wow. Modded Minecraft taught you what bauxite is. Uh, oh, we have that many plates. Uh, we might be able to do this milestone, actually. I just need to make a lot of cables. Which is definitely doable. Wait, that's concrete. Wrong way. Let's go up to copper. You think you're going to be in my way? Hear that, trees. tree that there thinks it can stand against me. Doesn't know what's coming. Uh, let's get that. And that should probably be enough to make all the wires that, or cables that we need. Wires made into cables. 200. How many do we? 200. Put your chainsaw away. You don't need that right now. Uh, 
Maybe I should set up another um, constructor just as like a side thing that's not connected to anything that I can just dump things into and be like, okay, here, take care of this so I don't have to sit here and hold this button down. Then that, I can use that for like biofuel or cables, for example, because I don't want it to turn all of my wire into cables because I still need wire. But maybe I'll put another constructor down there that I can just shove a bunch of wire into when it's ready. I could make a splitter. Okay, so the wire can go in. Half wire goes to cable, half goes to storage. Yeah, that's true. 500 of those. I need 300 plates. Yeah, this game is just like a ramped up version of Minecraft. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Oh, okay, I see. So if I had more energy cells, I could overclock it to increase production speed. So right now, it seems like it's slow, but that's just because, yeah, it's just it's going as fast as it can, unfortunately. It's making the screws takes time, and that's kind of slowing the whole process down. Oh, I, I, I almost guarantee you that this was heavily inspired by modded Minecraft, because it, it feels like it. It feels like a very natural progression of, you know, find this resource, do this thing, set up factories to do all this work for you, but with, you know, clearly set milestones for you to, to work towards, which is nice. I like that. It gives you a good sense of direction as to what you're supposed to be doing. But you can still just kind of do, just go and do whatever, really. It doesn't really matter. Probably research the color gun too, but I'll wait. Minecraft fire breathing aliens. Yeah. Sometimes there's just fire breathing aliens. That's just the way it is. I'm gonna go mine whatever this is. I think it's more sulfur. Oh, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to grab these nuts. Sulfur, 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 sulfur. I hate it. Sometimes modded Minecraft does have fire breathing aliens. That's very true. We, we kind of do in our server. Not really aliens, but. Another random Star Wars fact. Um, okay, well, I, I mentioned it before, but Emperor Palpatine was... He had a bit of a... Oh, yeah, blazes. They, I guess they would be pretty alien. But Emperor Palpatine had a bit of a weird fascination with, like, super weapons. And this wasn't just limited to the two Death Stars. I guess in canon now, it technically is. Um... Well, I don't know if you count Star Killer Base in there because I don't know if he was really responsible for that as much. I guess technically he was. Whatever. Anyway, this is dealing with like legends beyond the the, the established canon, beyond Disney canon. Um, Emperor Palpatine was well known to have a very big. Um, he was very fond of super weapons, and he built many of them. Not just the Death Stars. He built. Um, Probably the other most well-known one is the Eclipse Star Destroyer, 
It was one of the biggest Star Destroyers ever made. It was huge. It had a super laser on it, just like the Death Star, but not as powerful. And it was all black, I believe. It was also painted black, because of course. That is one of the most well-known ones. There were more, but I'm going to save those. Because what I, I think what I'm going to do, Episode 9 does say he's responsible for li almost literally everything. That's true. Um, but I think tomorrow, while I'm playing Squadrons, I'm going to lower the cost of the Star Wars random facts and just lean into it. Give treats to my cats. I will do that. I think I think this is going to be it for me uh, for now. Um, it is 6 o'clock here. And uh, I have to go and eat something. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I guess first of all I should save. Okay. Good. I can exit the desktop. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to probably go get something something to eat and then uh Wordsy is streaming this evening in about an hour and a half or so. Um and it sounds like we are going to be playing Among Us. So I will probably also be streaming that then as well. You can show up and see my point of view if you know you so desire. But the, the kind of the primary stream is on Wordsy's end. So I will be at least taking part in that, if not streaming as well. So uh, we will, we'll see. There might be a whole bunch of us streaming. So it kind of depends on who all is involved. So uh, yeah, that was great. I will give treats to my cats, but I'm going to have to do that after the stream. But I, I promise you, they will be fed. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for me. I, I, I mean, I definitely want to play more satisfactory, like, if it wasn't time for me to, if I didn't have to eat something in the next hour, then I would definitely play more. But it's, I'm going to have to put that on hold for now. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be Star Wars Squadrons. Hopefully that's a smooth-ish launch and I don't run into too many troubles. But if something goes horribly wrong, I'll, I've got lots of other stuff I can play. So I will be back tomorrow, probably around the same time, 2 o'clock Pacific four o'clock central ish and i'll be starting up then and going i don't know how long and then saturday as long as i'm not too burned out i might play more star wars and then i might be playing uh, monster hunter with with wordsy again that evening so that's kind of what i've got coming up i've got it all in my schedule as well so it's if you want to check things out please do and as well check out everybody else's channels here everybody streams well Stupid dice, I don't think so much, but uh, do definitely check check out everybody else. They've all kind of got their own schedules. They all do their own thing, but it's all worth watching. So, and I I usually show up in one way or another. So, thank you all for joining me. Thank you uh, for watching. Uh, thank you for for the bits. Thank you for redeeming your coins. And I will see you hopefully a little bit later tonight. Goodbye for now.